Dice and Pizza contains descriptions of peril, natural disasters, and kaiju. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hey everybody, this week's episode picks up where last week's left off. Stay tuned to the end for some very important announcements about the show. We promise it'll be really epic. And now, episode 17, Trial by Fire. You all make your way back to Noro. It's nightfall. You land the cloud on the backside of uh, the, the Driftwood family residence. Scallop's house at the, at the lodge, there are no lights lit. Um, you all enter, and Sidon and Beery are helping Angler cook dinner. Um, Beluga is resting on like a hammock inside. Um, the village is like all decorated. There's like banners and some carved statues and some candles that are like being prepared to be lit and like um, like places for people to sit and eat. Like things are things are getting ready. Um, but yeah, you're back. Beery runs up and hugs uh, all of you all around the legs and then uh, shows off his guns. He's like, Ugh! and flexes. Yeah. And uh, they look exactly the same. <laughs> um, Sidon. Uh, looking good, looking strong. Yeah. Sidon? You, you see that there's lots of just sand all over him. And he's just like, the kid wouldn't stop digging. Uh he keeps I look, throwing sand at me. I look at Driftwood. It's a Noro technique. <laughs> uh, oh, some yeah. some um some sand falls off of uh Saba's sash. Sidon. Uh we must speak. Okay. Nothing um well <gasps> I was going to say nothing dire. <laughs> nothing immediately dangerous. Or to you. Okay. It sounds like there's something dire or dangerous immediately <laughs> towards me. <laughs> no, that's that's not what I said. <laughs> What's going on? Let's Come over here. Ernie. Yeah. Yeah. You all kind of go outside overlooking the ocean to have this conversation while Beery helps Angler cook. We are going to attempt some trials tomorrow morning to try to get the um, aid of Tasia. Um, we were wondering if you would come with us. Guardian Trials. Oh, yes, Guardian oh, Trials. they have those here too? They do. Oh, so wh- wh- why do you need me? Like, you've already got one Guardian, and, and then Sidon looks at Ernie <laughs> and is like, and I mean, I guess you did pass, but... I did pass my trials, yes, as did you, as do all Tosu people. No, no what, what are you talking <laughs> about, Ernie? I'm looking back and forth between the two. I was in the stocks that day, the Ernie, day you passed. did you tell a lie? <laughs> Wait, Ernie, has Ernie not told us? you that 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 they that they were? Bef- well, I guess the ritual never finished, so it's it's unfinished. But yeah. Ernie finished the Guardian Trials in Tosu. Driftwood's eyes. Dinner plates. Ernie, Ernie does not laugh. Ernie's just like... So... So you know what a trial is like if it's unco- is it's not completed? Um, well, I don't really... <laughs> oh, you both are taking it pretty well. Pretty well. <laughs> Why did you lie to us, Ernie? <laughs> Listen, the first <laughs> I I ran away to get away from that and the first and the first bunch of people I met openly fought over <laughs> guardian status. <laughs> so I thought it'd be better well, You're it's my bad us. for not telling you. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you specifically. <laughs> Driftwood Driftwood's like sucking on his on their teeth and they're like Hmm. You know what? I like you, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> I I don't care that you, you know, did Guardian Child. I I mean you didn't even finish. So it proves right? at least something 
for me. It confirms something to me. Um, it proves what? You know, uh, you know, I proves I that don't you don't need to you know abide by the system. You could go along with the charade and still come out of it just fine, which is what what I want to do here. Actually, I want to go through the guardian trials. I thought they were fun. I was bullied not being able to do them. Um, I mean, clearly y'all are all doing guardian things. Um, Zaba in this group is the only one that committed. Um, <laughs> Guardian well, of crimes. In, in <laughs> the crimes of the guardian. <laughs> Law and order, guardian crimes. Uh, <laughs> no, but Sidon says, well, in Tosu, like like it's it, it's it's when a when a guardian like guardians are like I guess there is some element like kind of like Zaba where they're divinely chosen, but they prove that divinity by trial by combat. And so if one guardian fails to complete the ritual, Tosu just moves on, divines another person, and then continues the ritual. So Tosu's probably already replaced their guardian um, with someone else. And I mean, if it does help Ernie's case, like Ernie like abandoned being a guardian and rescued me. Uh, and like- It did happen. You know, I'm supposed to be like the leader, like the, <laughs> I'm supposed to be like the military leader of- Tosu and <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. With the amount of times they put you in the stocks for no reason. Yeah, look, um. I just want to live my life, and I know I'm I'm no great strategist, no great hero, no great warrior. I just well, don't be so, down on yourself, Sidon. You broke single handedly out of prison. I mean, I'm talented, times. but I'm not. So. I'm not a genius. Y- you two are in the habit of running away from responsibility. <laughs> Listen, you don't want the responsibility that people have in Tosu. No, especially with just it's There's it's, a reason. <laughs> yes, there's a reason we left and it's when you're surrounded by violence and and thought of war your whole life, it's not it's not at all relaxing. Right, Ernie? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if, if if you've entirely run away from from violence, from violent tendencies. <sighs> I mean, here it's been pretty nice, even though... It's... I'm speaking mostly to Ernie <laughs> in that case. Yeah, I guess maybe it's just me then. I just, look, I just... I can't fathom the responsibility of having to lead an entire city to their doom during a war, and that's why I ran away. Also because... My parents were being really mean and kept putting me in the stocks. Well, as someone who uh, has also run away. No, I didn't run away. Reframe. I didn't run away from Noro. And you didn't run away either. You went to go be yourself to travel the world. Well, I guess if you were in stocks, it really wasn't by choice. But you're not in the <laughs> stocks anymore. Um, and you're clearly, you're clearly very capable, which is why we should do this together. Um, and in terms of violence, you know, to put it another way, Noro also has a relationship with violence, and we I've always wanted to steer clear of it, but I'm also recognizing that we have to step in to be able to protect against more violence, which is a uh, scallop at the moment. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not a violent person at that moment. Um, all of the knives and, like, the collie sticks fall out of Driftwood's <laughs> bag. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're picking up. I'm not a violent person, Keep but uh, we, we uh, this is the about self-defense. <laughs> the rocks The way that you pivoted that, dis- that discussion to beating Scallop up was masterful and very Driftwood. <laughs> yeah. So what you're asking me is to come along tomorrow. Yes. You seem like a skilled fighter. I've been told, I've been told you're you're a skilled fighter. I don't know if I've seen, I've I've heard I've heard. Did I? What in, did Zaba Zaba? No, Zaba saw the Sidon horse. Horse Sidon Sidon yeah. on a horse. <laughs> okay, Sidon says, "Look, now that we've gotten this cleared up, sure, I'll I'll come along." Um, you don't sound too happy about it. Uh just. You don't want to beat up a giant crab? Uh, we're messing with forces. <laughs> forces that are bigger than me. <laughs> uh, I try to avoid those things, but... <laughs> that toasty so, superstition. 
Yeah. So be it. If Ernie's going, I'll I'll go. How are you with water, Saida? <laughs> 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 All right, we'll like just water. we'll just table that uh, till tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I think before if we do that, I'm gonna check in with my parents just because they received like a megaton of things, um, so yeah. they're probably like organizer brain uh, mm-hmm. firing at all levels right now. Yeah, your mom is just straight up asleep, exhausted from organizing all the stuff. Your your pops Angler, he's he's a, he's around, but he's pretty tired, and he. Gives the lowdown that uh, he's very grateful for all the stuff you brought and for leaving that note. Did you tell them about the secret cellar? I don't think so. I'm going to tell them now. Um, okay. Which is perfect cool. uh, for yeah. Angler. Yeah. So, Angler says, yeah, he'll take a s- bunch of his mates out on the on a, on a, on a, on a skiff first thing in the morning to go uh, collect all the stuff because uh, that's stuff they should just have here on this island. Yeah. Um, so I also uh, add that, well, I ask about um scallop's house scallop hasn't mm-hmm. returned since we had left mm-hmm. yeah scallop hasn't returned everyone assumes he's still out fishing or hunting. <laughs> oh uh i can tell you that he is fishing um <laughs> in fact i would say if you're going out have an extra layer of caution on you because mm. uh he did not look well um when we saw him and Good if you see know. any any magic fishing line pop out of the ocean a hundred feet into the air. Uh, that's a uh, better get out of there. <laughs> so fast. specific. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. And also um, tomorrow we are going to go on the trials, the guardian trials. We were able to find Tasia and oh. Tasia might be able to join us. If we were able to complete these tomorrow with Sidon's help. Good luck, my child. You have everything I could possibly give you to do this. You have my apron, many pockets. I, I show souvenirs along the, the bag way. To, <laughs> to Angler. Look, wow! If I only had that when I was on my journey across, gathering goods to bring back to the village, I could have carried a lot more goods. Well, bring it back. We'll bring it right back. I know uh, Mother is probably completely tired from all this, so uh, give her all of my support, all of our mm-hmm. support. Um, I know that she can handle this. Um, and not to add an extra load, uh, but Sidon, it won't be around to watch Beery. So hopefully Beery can contribute somehow with a little guidance. Oh yeah, that's, that should be fine. He's very set on warrior training, which is literally anything we ask him to do. So uh, perfect. Yeah. Give a thumbs up to Beery. Beery gives you two thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Last thing, but I also mentioned, um, let Beery sleep in Ramora's room, you know? Um, I don't know if he, I don't know what y'all have done with the room. I know we're not really going in there anymore, but it uh, might be nice for him to have a little bit of stability here. Angler takes a long, stiff breath in and nods. All right. Driftwood also shows all their cool yeah. things before going outside to reconvene. Mm-hmm. Cool. Everyone's outside again. Sidon says... I'm going to get some sleep before tomorrow. I'm going to turn in. And he goes back inside. Just Now it's just the three of you. Looks like things are going. Um, tomorrow will be very intense, I imagine. So I'm very glad we trained today. Uh, my little manatee pops out uh, without warning. I was like, oh, I still got to figure out how to control that. <laughs> uh, but uh, look, I show Ernie. Because <laughs> I don't think Ernie saw... The little is manatee. Is it corporeal? Like if I poke it? I think so. I don't know familiar yeah. rules exactly. Yeah. I would say it's a little incorporeal. It should be. Yeah. It goes boop, boop. Yeah. yeah. Just a little, a little chub yeah. waves. Yeah. Boop, boop. Uh, I don't know. Man. Hopefully we can use this fellow for some fun times. Otherwise, it's a great morale boost, I'll say. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not morale boosted. I'm trying to figure out what this creature is. What manner of creature is this? Sure. Has no hair. Mm-hmm. I, you know what? I'm gonna name them Mandy. Mandy? This is Mandy. Mandy. Hello, yes, Mandy. Cute. I'm Zaba, guardian of Corporate Village. Mandy drools. <laughs> Zaba's. Hand. I sh- I shake a little flipper. <laughs> Wipe my hand off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so the three of you gonna go to bed or? Mm-hmm. 
Is that You're going to keep watch on Scallop's hot ha- ha- uh, Kyla? I mean, Ernie? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll take. A, I'll, I'll keep an eye out on it. Cool. I don't think. I don't think Scallop's returning. But yeah, me neither. Yeah. Cool. The night is calm. The house stays empty, and Ernie, you're able to get some rest. Um, morning comes. It's early. Sidon's already up. He's uh, taken that sword that he stole from like whatever guard he had and put it on. His, or he's, he's taken Ernie's other sword and put it on his back. And he is already. He's ready next to Sora, uh, as the three of you are now all suited up. We'll jump on. Uh, we'll jump on Sora. Okay, so there's three areas to go to. There's the island with the pickle crab. There's the island where uh, off the coast is where the pearl is. And then there's the volcano. So we can't go into the volcano without the pearl. Right. Uh, yes, you can't. That's what Tasia said. You could always try. <laughs> um, speed run. <laughs> always try and speed run this. Guardian trial speed run. <laughs> yeah. We bring Sidon into a volcano. I'm like, uh, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> we we drop ourselves into the <laughs> mission <volcano>. impossible <laughs> dive into the volcano <laughs> we have Sora many things are possible so yeah. it sounds like are we prepared to go underwater again for the pearl or do we want to jump straight into combat for the pickle crab or who knows maybe we don't have to fight the pickle crab who knows where the pearl is I wave my my poison that probably won't affect a gigantic pickle crab. <laughs> we also have these two. I, look, I flick through the pockets. These whatevers. Oh yeah, <laughs> whatever they are. You you mm-hmm. grab a rock first, and then you, t- you grab the pile. <laughs> yeah, I pull out like pe- different multicolored pebbles. <laughs> like oh, I think oh, it's, nice. it's somewhere here. <laughs> I vote. My vote is we go get the pearl. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's all y'all need. That's all you need. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. back. I'm back in decision mode. Yeah, all of you, you fly over to the area where the pearl is. Um, all of you, rolled me a d twenty. Uh oh. Uh oh, stinky. Does this include Sidon? Sidon's yeah. with us, right? Yep, I'm gonna roll for Sidon. Uh oh, spaghettios. Fifteen. Seven. Thirteen. Woo. You all begin to swim. Tasia had mentioned you can't use magic to get to the pearl at the bottom. Oh, we can't? We can't. <laughs> um, and Zaba, that becomes your tough choice. Um, you can either, well, seven is a, it, seven is a, is a, you succeed at a price, which is you can lose one hit point for taking damage underwater, or you can lose one at, at adventure point. But you all get to the bottom, and uh, you're all able to find the pearl. Who picks up the pearl? Of How the big is the pearl? It's like, it's like fist sized. It's a huge pearl. Okay. It's a heavy, like dense. Yeah, it's dense. Okay. Is it just lying there? It's just lying there, at the bottom of the ocean. Oh. This is, I mean, Driftwood, you have the bag. <laughs> I do have the bag, but it's like tiny pockets, right? Like, yeah, oh, it's tiny pockets. Right. Never mind. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, well, ooh, uh, thinking brain, uh, well, we're underwater, right? So we yeah, can't talk. yeah, you're underwater. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I look at Zaba and mm-hmm. I make a twirling motion with a collie mm-hmm. stick, and then I point at the pearl, and then point back up to the surface. Vortex. <laughs> I can't use magic though. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Tasia said you can't use magic. Can I try to use magic? <laughs> I mean, or, yeah. Like you, you get a sense that there's nothing other than Tasia said you can't, but you're ma- you don't feel any sort of magical dampening down here. Oh, Tasia just said you can't use magic. That's worrying. I mean, can I just grab it? Yeah, you can just grab it. Cool. You grab it, and you all begin to swim back up to the top of the surface. <laughs> climb back onto Sora, and you have the pearl. <laughs> oh, God. I sense, if you use oh, mag- you? I sense if you use magic, something bad happens. I, yeah, I'm like sputtering out water. <laughs> Saba says, did you want me to, to do the vortex? Yeah, but then mm. I remembered no magic. No magic. Wipe cool. off the pearl. Mandy shows up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, 
Pickle Give crab? Mandy the pearl. I'm joking. Oh, no. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Mandy can't carry the pearl. It's heavier than... It's like a 15 pound it's pearl. It's bigger than you kind of mind giving it to Mandy and Mandy like, like, ah. And it's like, yeah. no. Um, well, that was easy. Maybe maybe the next trial will be that, that was easy. kind of suspiciously easy. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right pearl? I guess let's just go. We'll find out okay, sooner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't even let us think about how about that. There was no warning about magic for this next trial, right? Nope. Okay. You just got to face the pickle crab. So you go to the next island and Sora drops you all down. You see giant stab marks in the rock on this island from where the pickle crab climbs around. And as you go around the island, you eventually get to a point where you, from a distance, you see the giant pickle crab out in the distance. I'm using my, I'm zooming in and looking at it. Roll me a d20. Okay. Well, that's a two. I'm still still figuring this out. I I accidentally get it. It gets jammed. I'm like, ah. Fuck, it's all blurry. Can't see anything. Yeah, it. Well, I, had to take you know, off the, I take off the goggles entirely. You see it for a second, and then and then, you, but you don't you you don't find anything special, or, or any, you're you're not able to devise any kind of like weakness from it. I tried. Sidon says, "Okay, so we uh, unsheath sword. We so, doing this? Yeah. So basically, the instructions we were given were to kill the pickle crab. To face the pickle crab. Face the pickle crab. So we could well, just we- say hi." We faced it. We're facing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's on the-, the trial gods are signing oh, right well now. Well done. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess maybe we should get closer. <laughs> to- <laughs> yeah. Okay. You approach closer. It's big. Like big. It's big. Like it's like sixty feet. It's like Buwa- <laughs> It's like the it's it's like the buaya in the lake. It's big. It's a big ass crab. It's like unmistakably uh, a crab. Yeah, unmistakably a giant crab on this rock. It's like awake. Yeah, it's moving. I hate. It's this. going up and down. Yeah, giant right. pickle crab. Um, as you approach, is there anything you all do? It has yet to notice you all. Mm. Well, I do. I remember telling you know. Um, Ernie and Zaba know this, like how we were able to disarm regular pickle crabs, right? Like go for the arms first, and mm-hmm. then the rest is, is fair game. So, I mean, that's the best place to start. Are there like bodies around? Did this like crab do stuff? Okay. Um, I mean, like there's a skeleton from a long time ago. Um, but that's wow. it. No one, no one retrieves the body of this person. It's so sad. Either everyone um, ran away, everyone's been eaten, <laughs> or only one person actually tried to do this. <laughs> well, I think we faced it. Sidon's like, I, I don't know. It hasn't acknowledged us. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we, we can get get to eye level. Say hi. Yeah, are there rocks we can climb onto. Yeah. Oh, is it a spirit? Do, do I have death? Does death sense trigger for me? No. Uh, it's just a giant, <laughs> a giant really, pickle crab. You're really, you're really trying to find any reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, everyone that's going to climb up to try and get eye level with it, roll me a d20. I would well. assume would be everyone. Sidon climbs up. 13. 17. 3. <laughs> okay. Driftwood, you slip and you fall down onto your butt. As the three of you, as the rest of everyone climbs up and the make eye contact with the crab, <laughs> roars in your face. Um, saliva kind of spews out mm. and it seems aggravated <laughs> for no apparent reason. I hold up though. the pearl. <laughs> it does nothing for the pearl. But I hold, I've picked down the pearl. <laughs> Ernie, because you have an eye for these things, you do notice that there is something wedged in between its teeth. Oh. Um, it looks like a weapon of sorts wedged in between its teeth. Huh. And like I, a, yeah. Zaba, do you see that? Mm? See no. that? Uh? <laughs> see, like. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Is uh, Zaba lying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that. Uh, there's like something, there's some kind of weapon jammed in the, in the pickle oh. crab's teeth. Here, take my spear. Oh, so this is like a this is like a toothpick. Yes. Oh, so, and I'm I have to I have to take it out. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> so high up, how high how high up is the the crab's mouth? I don't know. It's 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 close by. You'd have to like climb. Depends on how you want to approach it. If you want to climb up towards it, you can do that. You can also climb beyond it and jump towards down towards it. There's a handful of ways you can get closer to it. But yeah, mm. you would need to get closer to it. And you would need to roll a d20 to get closer. Okay. Because it's probably going to attack you. I turn into a bird. <laughs> God dang it. How, how are you doing down there, Driftwood? Uh, has the crab right now like moved at all? It's turned its attention towards you all. Okay. You can't um, see I'm gonna... me. <laughs> they can't, yeah. You're not on I'm the wall. I'm going to shout to Zaba, try and distract it while I try and clean its teeth. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to climb on the rocks to get closer versus trying to get down on top Ooh. of it. Roll me a d20. I'm <clears throat> yeah. I'm a seagull right now, so okay. I fly around and start I pecking. Got an, I got an eight. Okay. Roll me a d20, Zaba. Oh, okay. I'm going to get eaten by a crab. <laughs> I got a 14. Okay, yeah, you successfully distract it. Uh, so, Ernie, you succeed. You manage to get closer to it. But you're and an tough... eight? Because... Yeah, that's a that's Oh, a it's tough a tough choice. choice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah so Does... you succeed, but you have to choose between two I things. See, I see. Does me distracting it do anything in this situation? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it prevents Ernie from having to take a full attack. Okay. Which would have been like two attacks on Ernie. So the, the only issue right now, Ernie, is that you get up close and you see that there is a sword wedged in between its teeth that is hurting it. You can successfully, you can choose between using this opportunity to either, your tough choice is you can either slay the beast or you can remove the uh, the sword. Um, huh, interesting tough. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm taking, I'm taking the sword out. Okay. You grab the sword and you yank and pull this sword out of its teeth. Um... The crab stops paying attention to Zaba and turns back to Ernie, roars at Ernie, and then begins to walk away. You now have a sword covered in, it's a really gross covered sword, but feels nice. It's big. It's a really big sword. It's like a two-handed sword. That's it. Huh? Driftwood, you can come out now. <laughs> yeah, Driftwood uh, comes out from behind the rocks. <laughs> I was like, uh, is that it? I advise you don't, yeah, don't get closer to me though I, before I wash this off. Um, I land on top of your head as a seagull. I imagine I'm still holding the pearl like a soccer ball. Yeah. And then Zaba's just on my head. Mm -hmm. So we're all rejoined, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to rinse off the sword in the ocean. Jeff was a little, uh, what is it? Um, suspicious? Boggled. Oh, boggled. Yeah, Driftwood is even more suspicious and is like, Either we Noro are kind of babies, or what is this? What's going on? Why are these so simple? Were these simple for you in each of your <gasps> villages? Um, I guess it de depends on what you call simple. Mm. I mean, I, I I trained my entire life for it, so I guess it was. Yeah. Flashback to a really sick gladiatorial arena fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where Ernie fought like six people at once. This is where Ernie peaked. <laughs> mm. It's like it's like uh, Ernie's the equivalent of someone who peaked in in, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> so Sidon, yeah, yeah. Sidon, go ahead. Sidon's like, okay, so we didn't need to kill it. But is that it? Well, Driftwood is very suspicious. Okay, like, even more. Um, but they're still along with it because they suspect that this volcano will be terrifying. <laughs> I finally turned back into Zamba. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So are you all going to make your way to the volcano? Yeah. Speed run. We're, we're going to get okay. the best time for, <laughs> for completing this guardian, these guardian trials. So am I trials. still holding the pearl and the sword? <laughs> yeah. I think Sidon should hold the sword. Yeah, I hand Sidon. Well, I mean, Sidon already has his swords. You but have so do I. Don't you have swords? a bunch of swords? <laughs> you have I too many swords. Uh, give me the sword. I hand the sword over to Zava. Where's okay. my spear? Oh. <laughs> That's true. Where was this? <laughs> Wait, I have to run back to get your spear. <laughs> Everyone's on Sora waiting, and Ernie just 
huffs it back into the woods, <laughs> climbs up the mountain, <laughs> climbs back down, huffs it back through the woods, gets back on cloud, hands spear to Zappa. I have to, I have to take a restroom break. <laughs> Jump off the cliff. We'll all. You hear the sound of a raging river, and then comes back off screen, <laughs> back right. onto cloud. I'm ready. Zidane's like, oh, oh, uh, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually fine. I just need to empty my boot. Sidon empties a boot <laughs> full of rocks, an, inhu- an inhuman amount of rocks in his boot. Um, We're all just like, yep. Mandy shows up and is putting the rocks in like the pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your bag is getting so heavy. How do you swim? How did you not get like? How did you not go like? To it the probably bottom? helped. That's true. Probably helped go up. to the get, oh, getting yeah. up would be rough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then trying to get back up, like oh, oh, oh. builds character. So <laughs> the four of you fly on the back of Sora. You fly higher and higher above the volcano. You start to smell sulfur and fire. You can hear the little rumbles and the bubbles of the magma and lava within the volcano. I thought this, Sora takes you. I thought this volcano wasn't active. I whisper. <laughs> Intense heat. It's hot. It's like, it's like, it's 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 it's, it's like not like active in the sense of spewing, but it is like there is still some hot magma. So I, I guess see. it is active. Um, <laughs> that means it's active. <laughs> yeah, it is active. Much to your all surprise, and you fly up to the top of the volcano and Sora begins to set you all down into it and brings you all to a ledge where he drops you all off. Why does this, see, why is yeah. this mountain on fire? Uh, why? Uh, yes. Ask the gods. <laughs> As you look inside so the catty. mountain, um, you see that there is that this that this pathway around it leads around the mountain to a wall that oh. seems to hold something within it at the core of the volcano. Driftwood, your whole life this volcano has never been this hot or bubbly. This is different. This is new. This is uh not good. Uh, I'm also recalling didn't Tasia say the volcano wasn't active? Yes. Tasia did say that. So it is active, like we've just confirmed. <laughs> this, uh, well, N- Noro is not for babies, confirmed. It's, all right, so, it's very hot, right? Yeah, it's hot. Okay. Um, but you all make your way down and around the wall. Mandy is picking up, like, different, like, volcanic rocks mm. and, like, sticking them in your bag. <laughs> and you hear, like, the crinkle, almost twinkle of stars. At least what you think stars would sound like. From like the volcanic rock that's like heating up and cooling down and you arrive at this wall that seals off the sort of central like the central dome of the of the volcano that you've never really got a good like look at and in the wall there's three sort of like divots in it one that is orb like one that appears to be like a slot for like a long key and the other is a hand print and you all see that there is what appears to be some sort of something caked onto it um, that is old. Drift, would you get a sense that it's blood? Yeah. Uh, uh. Tasia didn't mention a key. Well, the key kind of looks... You look at the sword that Zaba's holding and you look at the wall and it it clicks. Oh. <laughs> Has Sidon been here already? You mean Scallop? Oh. <laughs> You say this out loud. Sends like. Biden huh? says no. Do you mean scallop? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Your drink's so good too. I know. The moment Sidon reappeared, it happened again. <laughs> too many. Too many names that start with S. Um, yeah. If it's Alba says no. This blood looks old. It looks very ancient. So no. Ancient blood. Okay. Yeah. So, Driftwood. Uh, okay, I want to investigate a little bit more. Um, First, does does uh, death sense or um, magic sense? Oh, yeah. Sense magic is triggered. Oh, um, okay. There is magic beyond this. Intense magic. Similar to that beneath the ocean floor. And oh. Oof. Okay. 
So the tingles are like unignorable, and I'm like, yeah. there's something wildly magic behind this door right here. And okay, this hand mark. I'm presuming. I'm saying this out loud that this is for folks of our tribe. Um, this is a blood mark. And yeah, a blood compact. Mm -hmm. A sanguan, if you will. Okay. So <laughs> I, th I think this uh, this requires me uh, to do. So whatever lies past this door, um, I think we need to brace ourselves for anything. Okay. We ready? Hold up the pearl. I'm guessing Zaba is holding up the sword. Oh um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a Sidon all like primed up. Sidon draws his sword and is like, "I'm ready for whatever's on the other side." Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, okay, so Driftwood takes out their um, knife comb, makes just the slightest incision in their palm. Not your palm. That's Palm's all the worst nerve endings place are. To draw blood for. You're a doctor. <laughs> You're a doctor. It's too <laughs> late. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's too late. Let's just not make a big deal out of this. <laughs> You're all arguing while just when she's done this. There's like blood coming out. Oh god. <laughs> all right. All right. Ready? Okay, are you okay, ready? Okay, all right. Okay. I'll just mend it. Okay. Driftwood right, so, presses their their left palm um, onto the okay. slot. The handship slot. Put the pearl in. Cool. And Zaba sticks the sword in. And the pearl, the sword, and the blood begin to glow. And there is a click, and the doors begin to open. And before you all is another shard of the heart of Mirios before you, shining brightly. And in this moment, it shines incredibly bright and flashes and blinds you all. Everybody roll a d20. Oh no. I don't like magical things removing my ability to see. <laughs> so I got a nat one. 15. <laughs> got a nat one. <laughs> What'd you get drift with? Seven. No. Okay. So you all open your eyes and you are not here anymore. You are in a different place. You are... Zaba, you know you've been here several times now. Oh. You're all in the spirit world. Um, you are in a sort of spectral sort of landscape of greenery. This mountain is, is dormant. There is no lava in it anymore. And before you... Um, there is a sort of like um like a sconce with a flame like a like a bowl of fire before you and it uh it speaks to you all it says step forth present yourself to the fire of the gods present yourself and be judged worthy who goes first I look at Sidon. Is Sidon here? I look at Driftwood. Sidon's here. Everyone's here. Yeah. Uh, wait, because this ma cause magic available. Yes, here. this is. Um. Ooh. Uh. I don't think it is. Or I'm, I'm trying to remember. I don't think Zaba. Zaba. Zaba wasn't able to use spells in the spirit mm, world. So. But I was also very sick. <laughs> yeah, you were also very sick. So no, you do not have access to your magic. Okay. Uh, everyone looks at each other. Driftwood looks to their left, expecting to see Mandy, but Mandy doesn't show up. <gasps> no! <laughs> Mandy! Yeah, Mandy! No. Uh, so Driftwood looks straight ahead. I was like, okay, fine, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> Driftwood, you step forth, and the fire bathes you in it. The fire says, you are worthy but you must pay a price since you are while well, since while you are worthy you are not the one who is divinely chosen it, it presents you two futures one where you are a doctor practicing medicine and one where you are a great wizard wielding the magic that you are now coming in contact with 
and destroying great realms. Mm -hmm. Or using that magic to, cr to create big structures. Either way, it shows you two paths where you are incredibly powerful. I have to pick one. Which do you pick? You have to pick one. And this is going to affect your advancement going forward. Mm -hmm. Basically, it'll lock you out of one of these skill trees. Mm -hmm. what, do I know if I'll still have access to the previous magic? You'll have access to the previous abilities. But from that, from but from this point on, you won't be able to gain any more in whichever one you choose. You don't choose. Mm -hmm. <sighs> two brains, two brains touching. Um, uh, okay, <laughs> we're fine. I think about Mandy. <laughs> oh, Mandy. Um, oh, what Mandy do? I mean, I still have Mandy. Uh, Driftwood's like voices are talking to themselves. Uh, all right, doctor, wizard, doctor, magic, I'll always be with magic. Um, Driftwood walks through the portal where they are a doctor. Okay. You reawaken back inside of the volcano. Your friends are catatonic on the ground. Mandy's dropping um, rocks on you. Yeah. But before uh, you, we can, you can do anything, we're going to cut back to what's going on with the rest of the party. So who's next? Driftwood is gone. I look at Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> After you. <laughs> okay, fine. I look at Sidon. <laughs> okay. I'll, do, I'll, I'll go. Thank you, Sidon. I'll You're go next. Sidon <laughs> <laughs> walks up and is bathed in flame. And all you hear are screams as he disappears. What? <gasps> all right, Ernie. What the fuck? You Zava. are not worthy. <laughs> you just kill Simon. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Can we just... <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I, well, I said I would go... I said I would go next. Are you okay with being the last one here? Yes. Uh, this is not this is not my first um, time <laughs> being here. I was gonna say this is not my first rodeo, but that's not <laughs> those, those so, don't exist. So to speak, this is not my first hunt. Okay, well, time to see if I'm hunting or being hunted. I go in with one last look at at, at Zaba in case I fucking die. You are not worthy. <laughs> you are wreathed in flames. Jesus Christ. The flames begin to burn away at you. And just like Sidon, you scream. <laughs> Poor the, Zaba. the voice says to you, <laughs> you are not worthy. <laughs> well, sure, I already knew that. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> and it presents to you to... It presents to you, it says, you are not worthy, and you must pay for leaving your responsibilities. God damn it. <laughs> and it presents you two portals, two decisions. One where you repay this debt by accepting your responsibilities and abandoning being a great tracker like you dreamed. The other, where you take what is the hard way you forego all your responsibilities and you forge a new path. There will be dire consequences <laughs> that you will get to become, you will still get to become the tracker you want it to be at the cost of a many great, you know, power. Listen, wait, can I, I, can I speak? Yeah, yeah, you can speak. Cool, I'm like, listen, I already left once. I'm not going to go back just to leave again once I realize that th I, that those are not my responsibilities to bear. 
there's a, there's 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 more pain in 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 choosing to lead a warmongering nation. I'll take the harder path. Thanks. Okay. The flames burn just a little bit more. Cool. And Come cool. <laughs> you take 4 points of damage as you disappear. And this doesn't this doesn't I mean this does hurt, but this doesn't hurt me. See you later. And you you wake it back up. You're on the ground on the flat of your back. Um, I immediately back look to Sidon. Is Sidon there? I will get to it in <laughs> oh just. My God. You get up and you stare at Sidon. But before you can, before anything can happen, Zaba, you're the last one. I mean, this is just another Tuesday to to Zaba at this point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much, how much shit I've seen. Um, I step forward. It says, "You are worthy, but you already knew that. <laughs> you are already the guardian of another village. So I offer you a bit of advice. <laughs> Something that you may not have known about yourself. The village you protect is not your home. Do well in choosing your allies." And when you wake up, you are back. You are, not, you are not wreathed in flame like the others. You wake up. And as you all kind of gaze towards Sidon, you see that Sidon is lying on the ground. But Sidon, it's not Sidon. You know it's Sidon, but it's not Sidon. You see a wolf. You see a wolf lying on the ground whimpering. What the fuck? And you see all of Sidon's clothes and things surrounding the wolf. But you're saying, wait, but you're saying the wolf is not Sidon? Or is that Sidon as a wolf? Like, you instinctually look to where you see, where you remember Sidon being. And you're like, Sidon? And you see a wolf. And you're like, that is Sidon, but it can't be Sidon because Sidon's not a wolf, but Sidon is a wolf. <laughs> the decision Sidon was, was given was um, stay a weak human or become a sick ass wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I'm Zaba's still processing my information, so I'm not paying attention to Sidon. Um, I think Driftwood similarly is like in a different headspace, but is really shocked still. I can't believe <laughs> a wolf. Um, I like look at this wolf to see if it, if it attacks any of us, it doesn't. The wolf looks severely injured. Oh, and no. And is breathing very shallowly. You have a feeling, Driftwood, you have a feeling from what you can sense that Sidon had to choose between responsibilities and the hard way. And the hard way, and this was his hard way, was becoming an animal. What the fuck? So I could have been turned into an animal. <laughs> It's going to have been me. <laughs> could have been you, but Ernie, yeah, you actually, something's not, you like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, as you get up and start to move, um, you are, something doesn't feel right. Um, you feel significantly weaker. Like almost like you've lost some of your life force. I've been KO'd. <laughs> you have, your hit point maximum has been permanently reduced. Damn. By four hit points. Wow. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have this armor for, okay? Oh, it's true. You're the you of all people have have the most armor, huh? But it's only yeah. minus two. It's only I only have my, minus two damage. I'm now seriously considering those boosts. <laughs> you sense it would take you. You know it would probably take a great many magic to reverse this effect. Yeah, um, it sounds like something the god when some the gods decide to do something, it's a little difficult to unravel or re-ravel. Yeah. Hey, I feel like hey guys, I feel like shit. How about you both? <laughs> um. Why is there a wolf? Um, that's Sidon. Oh. Does Sidon have um Sidon can shift like me? No. Mm -hmm. I don't I, I look at I look at the wolf again. 
I don't think so. Oh. Driftwood um, is like feeling the back of their neck, like something, like some phantom feeling is gone. Um, and it's like, what's happening? Ugh. Um, they go up to, they're they're walking up to Sidon Wolf right now, though, who's injured, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, Driftwood leans over and sees like if Sidon like recognizes everything still. The wolf's eyes are like wide with fear, completely confused and uncertain of what's happening right now. Oh, damn. Poor Sidon. Wolf doesn't seem to recognize you. Mm. Uh, can I approach like closer or is the wolf like backing away? The wolf's like on the ground. The wolf does not seem to have the strength to back up. Okay. So Driftwood then closes their eyes. Well, rubs the uh, necklace of Mitra. Um, and then casts um, Relieve in one hand and Mend in the other hand. Mm. And then lays hands on the wolf. I walk over to you as you do that. The breathing begins to slow and calm down. The sight of you, Ernie, uh, seems to calm the wolf. And then Sidon manages to stand up on all fours. I turn into a wolf. The wolf, Sidon as a wolf, cocks its head and like moves towards you. And just like investigating can you speak to animals while you're in wolf form? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Let me look at the book. It doesn't say. Shape, senses, range of motion. Yeah, you can't speak to it. Sidon, so like, kind of like whimpers, howls a little at you, growls, tries to speak to you, but you're not understanding. Oof. I was thinking about that amulet. I was like, is that, is that amulet's not a translator, right? Like. It shifts back. Uh, amulet, the my amulet. Yeah. Don't that, think it is. <clears throat> I don't believe so. It, it sends a message to someone. I don't know where. Mm. I, I I hold up the amulet. I say, "Hello." <laughs> you get a response back. Wait. But you said you- it was a one way. Well, you don't have the other half. Oh. What the fuck? And you get a response back. And you hear a, a man's voice who says, who is this? <laughs> Someone just adds this on them. It's not Scallop's voice. Who, okay, who, thank who God. Is, who is this? My name is Kurum, guardian of what was Alita, the village oh, of Alita. shit. Hey, Kurum, long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? You must be a guardian if you have one of these. Do you not you do not recognize me, friend? Friend. My goodness. Zaba, guardian of Kokuru village. You're alive. Yes. Um, and so are my companions. Mostly. Oh. That is good to hear. <laughs> Look at the wolf. <laughs> um We are not doing so fair. Uh In fact, I probably need to get going. Jack will start wondering where I am. They've conscripted us into their army. We've been besieged at Tosu for the last week. It's the only way I've managed to keep my people alive, but it's not looking good. We haven't been able to escape out of the canyon. Don't, if you... (laughs) I can't believe you're alive. Oh, oh. Ne- neither can I. Um, we f- we found your your village burned. Yeah, trust me, we are not here by choice. Of course, yes, I, I understand. If you ever find your way in the mountains, I have a feeling this siege will last a long time. The wolves of Tosu are quite quite a formidable force if I'll see what we can do thank you guardian Zaba take care may take care 
May Bannon, May Bannon's light, or May Bannon's, hmm, what would I say? May Bannon, May Bannon's fire um, burn bright uh, and long. Thank you. May Uli's wind carry you to safety. Thank you. And the line goes dead. Any more surprises going to happen today? Well. <laughs> I say, uh, uh, Ernie says out loud. Well, yeah, actually. <laughs> um, the crystal pulses three times. And out of the crystal emerges a mask, armor, oh, okay. and a staff. I was half expecting Scallop to come out of that <laughs> fucking crystal. And then the crystal fades with power. Oh. And the volcano goes back to being dormant. Like, mm. you literally, like, within seconds, the magma begins to just solidify over. Oh, wow. I think Driftwood, Driftwood is feeling really odd of everything that's happened. It's a lot happened. Um, but Driftwood does do one thing. They walk over to the items. Driftwood picks up the mask and puts it on. We have some work to do. Dyson Pizza is Maya Worrell as Zaba, Justin Rickefort as Driftwood, Kyla Worrell as Ernie, and myself, Derek Aiello, as The Guide. Cover art is by Gene Young, theme song by Itamar Ben Zimra, with additional sound effects by Brian Kim. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode and for sitting through those cliffhangers, only for us to leave you with yet another cliffhanger. As we approach summer, we're going to be doing a few different things on the feed before we start the next part of Campaign 1, Guardian Quest. On May 16th, we'll be releasing a trailer for a brand new five-part miniseries called Kairos. It's going to be played with Quest, featuring new characters in a new setting, a perfect entry point for those new to the show or who need to catch up. And don't worry, we'll be back to the world of Mirio shortly after that with two planned one-shots and then the next arc of adventures. We're really grateful for everyone who has listened, shared, reviewed, commented, or even downloaded the show. We're having a blast doing it, and we could not be more excited to be mixing up the format. So mark your calendars. May 16th, new trailer for new miniseries, Kairos will drop. Keep your ears on the feed for it. Otherwise, you can follow the show on Twitter and Instagram at Dyson Pizza. And now we're on Tumblr at DysonPizza.tumblr.com. If you haven't already, uh, go visit it. We'll be posting some cool stuff and some behind the scenes. If you have a spare moment, leave us a review or ranking or rating wherever you are listening to this. It helps new people find the show. Thank you all for listening and we'll catch you next time. What are you doing here? Well, I guess if you stuck around this far and listened to that incredible theme song, uh, we might as well give you a little sneak peek at our miniseries ahead of the trailer. Yeah, I'm just going to record while we're doing this. Okay. And I'm going to put my head Yeah. Down. Cool. A sign. I think that's pretty, that's, oh, yeah. that's pretty accurate, you know? It's fateful. A person under a tree with cups. Yeah. Ooh. Four cups? Yeah. Four cups. And cups are, um, they're like the emotions. They're like relationships There's as well. four people in this room. Ah. Oh There's my God, you're right. Yeah. Four people. Wow. There's four cups. cups. Wait, what the tables. heck? Wow. Wow. That's, that's, oh, that's, and the card I picked also is the card number four. And yeah. you got a person on a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're out on an adventure with so. whales. How cool. we just, are there whales in this world? I mean, theoretically, but Probably. we're not really by the ocean. The ocean. Yeah. Um, it's probably like dino whales. Oh like my gosh. Flying whales. <gasps> walking whales. I walking mean, whales. There are walking, there are flying whales. They're called albatrosses. Oh, yeah. And they're yes. giant flying, like, like whale alligators. Fascinating. Oh, wow. I, I freak myself out a little bit because if we're on like the prehistoric kick, there are some scary things that were in the ocean. Oh, yes. Um, That's why we're far away from the ocean. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I scared you all last time. Like the. Um, oh, my God. The jelly The buaya. Bu- yeah. Uh, like the people, like we don't, we don't uh, fish, but. But uh, in reality, it's like us. It's like, yeah, we don't we don't really go out in the sea because you will get uh, capsized by <laughs> a gigantic sea creature. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so everyone good? Everyone ready? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. okay. Maya, whenever Maybe. you are ready. Yep, yep. Go ahead and, and, and do your intro. Hello, Wayward listeners. Welcome to Dice and Pizza, an actual play podcast that features four friends that eat pizza, roll dice, and free fall into extraordinary worlds. Today, we find ourselves not in Mirios, but in Rune, 